Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be going to give you guys five very affordable beginner friendly eyeshadow palettes. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys are not already part of my little family, I hope you guys join and subscribe. It's somewhere down there, I think. Should be down there. So please subscribe if you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I should jump right into it. So I'm going to be starting off with um, BoxyCharm. This isn't part of it, but I am going to be starting off with it. So, BoxyCharm is a $21 monthly subscription that you get five full-size items. They can be skin care, hair care, and makeup, and brushes. So, you're getting, you know, quite a bit for $21 a month. And every single box that I've ever gotten is over $100. So one item can be $21 and that already pays for your box. And that is a really good way for a beginner who wants and link, like longs for high-end stuff, but also wants to be able to build up their collection month to month. Now you can go and buy it for a year, but it, I, I'm assuming it's cheaper some way. I don't know. But I don't have that money. I don't have 200 something dollars to pay it for a month. So we pay month to month. You know, that's best for me. So I highly recommend it. We've gotten things like cover effects, like right here. Um, and, you know, cover effects right here. I'm on the last box. We've gotten brushes, which I've... I use that are wonderful. We I've gotten Tarte. I've gotten like unknown brands that are still expensive that, you know, I just think that if you guys want to go and build up your collection, that is a really good way to do it. And it's a very beginner friendly kind of price. Because I don't have like $500 lying around to spend on makeup. I wish. That'd be wonderful. But I don't, you know, I, I do what I can. So the next thing I'm going to go and jump into is the Wet n Wild, um, the little palettes. They're new formula palettes. Now I'm not saying this specific one. I am, oh, I'm going to be doing it in pricing order. I don't remember if I actually said that or not. But, ooh, I have everything on my lap and it wants to fall every time. Ugh. Okay. So these formulas are beautiful. They are pigmented. You know, if you guys want a very, very bold look, or you guys are really longing for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, this is a $5 dupe. Now, there is tax and whatever, change, but this is a $5 dupe. $5 for almost the whole palette. Excuse me. What? So, I'm going to go and give you guys some swatches, but... The added, the mattes blend out beautifully, like they're, they're great. They got really buttery shimmer shades. And I'm going to be swatching a red too. Now the red is a little bit rough and there is fallout and I will, I will say that there is definitely fallout. But they blend like a dream. Um, they're very, very pigmented. You get a lot of pigment for your money. Um. They made, like, I'm not saying this specific palette, but I am saying the Wet n Wild palettes line. Their makeup is wonderful for the price point, and they're not jacking up their prices like all the other um, companies are at the drugstore. Like, look at that. That's just a taupey shade. Then you got your little shimmer shade, which I'm going to try and do this. You get that one right there. And then you get your red like, just look at that. That is just ridiculous. It blows my mind of how cheap it is. And you're getting so much payment for your money. And they blend wonderfully. Now, um, to me, a beginner-friendly palette is the price is right. It's very affordable. That the average Joe or Susie Hugh down the, ro the ro road can go and buy it when she doesn't make much money. So this is something I definitely recommend, especially if you're willing to play with color. This palette specifically I would recommend, but they also have a very pink um, little one of these that is very more wearable than this. I mean, I, I, I guess you could get um, natural looks, which I will try on my channel later on, but I look at this and I don't see natural. Like, 
So anyways, I definitely think this is very beginner friendly. This is a good gift for um, a middle schooler going into high school or a eighth grader who wants to experiment with makeup. This is a really good palette for her, you know? I mean, maybe not the specific one if you don't want her to wear bold colors, but this is a good formula and you're getting a lot of blendability and a lot of options and a lot of buttery creaminess for your money without spending $42 on the pigment, on the butteriness of everything that you've wanted and dreamed of in a palette. You're just getting it for a little itty bitty, like a big fraction cut. Now for those of you who don't like Wet n Wild, not their favorite thing, I also have the e.l.f., not this one specifically, but the, oh I got a hair on my lip, yuck. I have the e.l.f. Nude Rose Gold. Now, they have a lot of shades. Um, they have a Nita in Nude, they have Matte for Matte, they have a Smoky. So if you guys don't want like a bold or they don't want wet and wild kind of colors, because they do have some crazy ass colors, okay? They do. And you want something really natural, Elf would be a way to go. Now for me, personally, pinks are more, uh, how do I put this? If I were to wear like a taupe, Topes are not very natural looking on my pink skin tone. So for me, on my wedding day, I want to wear pink because that is the most natural thing on that I can wear, are pinks. Now this is what the palette looks like. It is beautiful. Now this is also a really good do for the Naked 3, which is what I heard. So I'm just going to give you guys a couple swatches. Now they do have three mattes. They do have a matte brown bone shade. They do have a cup like a crease color that is a light transition shade and they do have a little bit darker crease color. And they do have your deeper shade. Now they're not that deep but they're pretty, I mean they're deep. You know. Um, they do feel a little bit dry to the touch but they blend out very very well. Like I $10 for this. You get 10 shadows. You get a really nice mirror. Like there's not that many products. Like, that doesn't even really want to show up on my skin tone. Now, these shadows, you do have to go and build them up. They're not just going to be like, pa-bam, in your face. No. You do have to build them up, which I, again, like, a very beginner-friendly uh, eyeshadow palette. You want to be able to build them up. You don't want to be being like, boom, eyeshadow. I screwed it up. You don't you don't want that. You know, especially if you're a beginner, you're just getting into makeup. You want to go and try these looks, but you don't want to look like you got hit in the eye with the you with your face or hit in the eye with the with the basketball. So, I mean, it's it's just give or take. Either you can get a cheap price, good quality, and you can build it up or you pay expensive and get everything that is ideal. So, I mean, it's just what you want to, you know, it's just what you want to spend. If you'd rather invest and take that leap, I mean, you can. But they do have a lot of drugstore-friendly alternatives. And there's a lot of options with these. I love the options. I love the option of being able to get rose gold. I love the option of being able to get a smoky, you know, and still pay the same price of $10. And they do come with a nice mirror, too, that is really good for travel. I mean, look at that. Like, I can go and look in it, and I can see my eyes. I can just sit there, you know, on the... My man's driving. I can be like, boop, boop, boop. I can see what I'm doing. I don't have to go in my face like this. I think it's absolutely perfect. And the pan sizes that you guys get, they're very, very big. Especially compared to... I feel like compared to the Naked 3 or the Naked palettes, you get more like with. I feel like you get more product than that. I don't know. That could be just like me saying like the pan size are bigger. You must get more. That's not always the case, but you know, you do get quite a bit. I definitely think for $10, you know, you got options. You get like, they have so many more of these little 10 palettes that I don't even know what is what anymore. Like I don't even know if I were to go into Walmart and look at all of them, I'd be like, I don't know what to get. I think I'd just get the Naked Smoky and call it a day. Especially because anything Smoky, my cat's name is Smoky, and I'd want to get it. That's like the only reason why. 
So if you guys have a Walmart near you and are able to have um, hard candy, I would recommend the Hard Candy Look Pro Matte Eyeshadow. Now, if you don't want shimmer, you want something that's very, you know, matte, but you don't, you want more for your money. You know, you think 10 eyeshadows, you know, that's not enough. You know, you want more, but you want more color too. I think this palette is very, very ideal for someone who wants to get a lot more for your money. Now, you get an itty bitty little mirror, like itty bitty. And I mean, when you hold it like this and you dab and whatever, yes, you can see your eyes. So, I mean, I guess it is ideal. You do get these little cheapy little, oh, here we go. You do, I always drop something in every video. You do get brushes. You get a nice little uh, slanted tip and you get like a little brush like here. But I like to use these specific tips right here for cream products. I find them better for cream products. I mean, if you don't want to use them, that crappy little brush, all you gotta do is take like a travel size little brush. Done. That's it. And especially, you know, if your primer is like a small little tube, you can, you can throw it in there. If it's, I mean, if it's small enough, I don't, I don't know. But, you know, you just get a lot for your money. So you get 15 shades for $10, and you get a nice um, brow bone highlights all here. And especially if you're deeper, I feel like it definitely does cater to the those who are more deeper complexion where you can use this nice little yellow and you can mix for a nice um, brow bone highlight without being too intense or if you have very warm undertones this could work very well on top of the lid or if you just need to use as like a banana color I feel like this will be used great on the face um, they also have a really nice black and they have a little bit reds and also if you know I know for me for eyeshadow palettes I don't know what kind of look I want to get so when I look at the modern renaissance, I'm just like, what kind of look would I start with? You know what I mean? I feel overwhelmed. Now with this, they break it down for you. And almost like a, like a, here, I got your back type of way. So they have, you know, here's your brow bone, here's your crease, here's your outer V or your lid. Here's your lid, here's your crease, here's your outer V. Lid, crease, outer V. And that's how they do it. Or you can do it like quads which really help out the beginner friend, the beginner user. And they also have on the back where they have a little thing and they just show you step by step on what to do. I think, you know, you're getting, oh, on top of that, these blend like a dream. Um, there's no skipping. Um, that I mean, when I did it, I had skipping, but I get skipping with all my eyeshadow, so that's nothing new. So um, there is no fallout or kickback, right? That's why like when you tip, you dip into the, here, I'm just going to take this brush, I'm just going to dip. Oh, you can't even see. Nothing. Well, now there is. But, whenever I use this, I think I used it in a video, or I did, or and I didn't, wasn't able to upload it, I don't remember. But, oh. My eyeshadow, I eye mascara is like all over myself. So, anyways, I think for the price that you're getting and the formula, you can't go wrong. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch. I'm gonna whoop that almost fell. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the black, which I'm gonna do on camera so you guys don't think I'm pulling your leg. So here's the black, like pigment. I'm gonna do the red because that's very hard to make. I heard pigment, purple. That needs a little bit of work, but pigment. Then I'm just going to do the, I'm going to do my favorite crease color, which is right there. Which is a nice, um, what kind of color do you call it? Like a grayish, it's a really nice grayish kind of color. So I'm just going to go and go ahead and just swipe them over here. So here's the purple. And then the red. And then the black, oh god, that's pigmented. There you go. I mean, I feel like this is a very beginner... <clears throat> got a frog in my throat. This is a very beginner friendly, and you don't have to worry about it opening up. When you open it, it's got this little, little... Whoop, I actually gotta close it first. It has this little button, and you press the button, and then you open it up. 
So if you put like a brush, or you, you can just chuck this in your purse if your purse is big enough, and you can just walk around all day and not have to worry about it opening up and spilling all the shadow. I mean, I usually keep a lot of my high-end um, uh, makeup palettes in the boxes that it came with because of that reason. And I could just take this anywhere and just use it, which I probably should because I miss using it. So I did, for the $10 and you get all these shadows, if you guys think that spending $10 on 10 shadows isn't really, you know, that's not cheap enough, not cheap, that's, that's bad, but that's not a good bargain for you guys. $10 for 15 shadows is definitely a bargain, or if you don't want to be spending $5 on all that pigment, or just you want something very natural and very buildable, $10 on this for all that you get is definitely a steal, especially if you want a really natural look and you want more, you want color, but you want color to go together. You don't want to be lost because I feel like, no, oh, I'm just down there. I feel like when I look at the um, Wet n Wild, I kind of get lost of a makeup look that I want to do. And I think in my video, I even got lost because I didn't know what I want to do. I just kind of messed around with it. So, I mean, you, like I said, you get the looks that are very, very well played in sight, like, oh, you know lid, crease, V, you know, and it's very broken down for, for everyone, so it's very easy to do a look. You won't be lost, because who wants to be eye and eye shadow palette that will be lost or feels intimidated to use it because they spent 40, 40 plus dollars on it and they just feel intimidated because they don't want to ruin it. I was that girl. I was that girl, and I will admit it. I was that girl that wasn't too intimidated to use my high-end palettes. I mean, now that I do, but... You know what I'm trying to say. So the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Contour Palette. I love this palette. Love, ooh, got another freaking hair. I love this palette. I love this palette. I cannot stress to you guys how much I love this palette. Now you do get a cheapish kind of brush. But I like to use those kind of brushes for cream. So I mean... I know for me, before I started using my, uh, oh, where is it? Oh, it's right here. When I first started using my favorite kind of crease color, when I just want to do a natural quick look, and I started to want to do my favorite crease color, I would actually use that brush in the crease, and I thought it really blended out the, um, cream products very, very well. Eyeshadows, I wouldn't use it, but if you don't have brushes, you know, do what you gotta do, you know? But I love everything that you get in this palette. Now you can use this as contour if you're if you want to experiment with contour and don't want to waste a lot of your product. You can use this as contour, which is a very gray toned shade, which is perfect for my skin tone. I don't know why I don't use it. You get a nice little uh, vanilla kind of shade that's not too white, but it's just like a nice yellow kind of white. So you get that, which you can use under the eyes if you have the skin tone for it. And I can't use this as bronzer, but I'm sure someone could. Um, it's too warm for me, but I do like how they break it up. They break it up, oh, I forgot to mention, this is $15. Um, they break it up and you have the neutral quadrant, you got the cool town quadrant, and then you got the new, you got the warm quadrant, the neutral, and you got the, the, uh, oh my god. You got the warm, you got the cool, you got the neutral. And I, f I feel like everything is broken down for you guys. So, I mean... You can start off by setting your concealer, putting in a crease color, putting in an outer V, or you can put in, um, set your eyeshadow, crease, outer V, brow bone. Very simple, done. So I feel like for these kinds of colors, you just, if you don't want to, if you don't have Walmart near you, or you can't order it online, or they don't ship to the UK, or I don't know if they do or not, actually, um, or if you have Ulta near you, closer to Wal then you're closer to Ulta than Walmart or not near a drugstore, and you really love these colors or you really, really want the Kat Von D shade and light, but you don't want to fork over like $49 because I'm that girl, this is a really good alternative. I do think they blend like a dream. Like, I'm just going to say it. They blend like a dream. I think Makeup Revolution, period, is a really, really beginner-friendly um, brand. Very beginner friendly. The colors blend like a dream. Now, when you when you first open the palette and you touch the matte shadows, they are very pressed. They're not dry, but as soon as you get that first little, when you go on in with your brushes, you'll 
go get rid of that. And also, um, there's black, there's that, and there's that. Like, look at that. That's, that's just crazy. Like, the black alone is just crazy. But, um, you, especially with the chocolate bar palettes, the Makeup Revolution, um, white, naked white, or I think it's called the naked chocolate palette, it's the white chocolate one. That palette, like that palette, um, the shimmers are where you, when you rub it, I'll bring out the palette sometime, but when you actually rub your finger in it, it kind of like melts the shimmer together, but it's, you, it still works, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but, and, it, you know, the shimmers need a little bit of work, you do need to tap them onto your lid, but that's, I don't use, I don't wet my brush, I don't use a brush with it, I use my finger. I think applying shimmers with your finger is the best way, because, one, you don't need a brush for it, you don't need to, you just dip your finger and boop, 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 or you spray it, and whatever, but I definitely think these blend out like a dream, like a dream, these blend out like a dream. I made a whole video on this palette. This was my go-to palette in October. Like, I just kept using it. Like, I used this palette so much, I got a very, very visible, like, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but I got a visible dent in this color because I used it so much. I used that color in my crease. I used it to contour. I used it to freaking do whatever. I loved this pa I love this palette, and I really really stuck to like the center quadrant like if they can just like break this apart and just sell this I'd buy it in a heartbeat so I definitely think this is very neutral um, if you guys don't want to experiment with color and you don't you're not near target target and you're not near Walmart or you're not near CVS and you're closer to a uh, Ulta or boots or whatever this is a really good palette, especially if you don't want to experiment with color. You want to stay very neutral. I mean, you want to stay very natural, but you don't want to go and spend a bunch of money on, like, different little browns. you got a bunch of different browns. You have, you can experiment with all the tones, see what tone is best for you. That way you know, going ahead of time, if the Naked 1 works better for you or the Naked 2, because Naked 2 is very cool toned, or the Naked Basics 1 is for you, or the Naked Basics, or the Naked Basics too, because they're two totally different undertones. Now you wouldn't know that unless you experimented with warm tones or cool tones. I know with me, warm tones make my eyes more hazily green or whatever. They definitely make my eyes stand out. Cool tones look better on my skin tone. Neutrals, they it can pull either way. I'm, I don't remember what color they... I think they pull more... I think they just stay neutral, honestly. Hmm. I gotta try this out again on camera. Just for the sake of it. So the next thing that I'm gonna go and talk to you guys about is the... Whoop, another hair. It's the Makeup Revolution Soap X Eyeshadow Palette. Now you get 24 shadows for $15. $15. So, <laughs> you get... Almost everything under the sun. You get, I'm just going to look in my mirror behind me. You get a nice white. You get really, um, you get a crease colors. You get your nice shimmer shades, which I think there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There may be none. I believe there's nine. And then you get your nice warm tones over here. You get a nice black, which is very important. Eyeshadow companies, makeup companies, listen, we need blacks in our palettes. We can't just be judging it up with like a color a half a shade darker. No, we need a black. I feel like every eyeshadow palette needs a black, a pigmented black. Um, but you get a huge mirror, like, yeah, that's just what I'm dealing with now. Anyways, you get a huge mirror. Like, you can be on the train, okay? You're on the train. I need to get ready for a date. Just break it out and you got you can see your whole face. You don't need to squint and look I like ooh, oh shit. My mascara is running down my face. Like under my eyes, like holy shit. Anyways, um it's like ten thirty. But anyways, um you can see everything. 
and especially it the formula like the sh mats um they are rough to the touch when you go and dip your finger in them they are rough but i feel like as soon as you start putting your brush in you're really dipping into them and working with them that roughness does go away it they're just more firmly pressed is what it feels like not rough like ouch i'm hurt they're just more firmly pressed so i just want to go and clarify and i got another hair that that's what i'm talking about so you literally get everything under the sun in this palette I mean, you may just need, like, a neon pink and, like, maybe a yellow because why not? And that's it. You got your orange. You got, like, a nice rusty kind of color. I mean, there are some colors you could need. You know, like an orange, you know, and rust. Well, you got your, you got that. You have your blue-brown little reflex color, you know, that everyone loves. You got a green. I mean, you may just need, like, a deep forest green, like a matte green, and I, that's pretty much about it. You got everything covered. And the only downside is about this palette, it's a little floppy thing that freaking flops around. It has all the names of it, but you take it out and you do this. That's it. You take it out and go, bloop. But anyways, for $15, you're getting 24 shadows. Um, the shade and light, light and shade one that is fifteen dollars for twelve shadows so you're getting double the shadows for the same price and you're getting more variation now if you just if you really just want to go and you know not sp if you want to spend fifteen but you don't want all these crazy shadows because you know you'll never use them i understand you know that's understandable um i'm gonna go and swatch them for you guys so i'm gonna do like the really nice pink i'm gonna do the purple because i never actually swatched that one it's actually really pretty so there's the purple um, I'm going to do green, because I never did that one. Those are the shimmers. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do the black, of course. Holy shit. Like, look at that. Oh, no. No, I got on my palette. But I just think that the packaging is very beginner-friendly, because it clasps shut. Is It feels expensive. That's another thing. It feels expensive. So I'm just going to go and actually swatch that black. Well, that's not the black. There's the green, um, here's the purple, wow, here's a nice frosty pink, and then here's the black, the showstopper. That is a horrible swatch. There. Like, what? <laughs> like, it's kind of crazy how much just beautiful these are. Now, if you guys don't want to buy either of these Makeup Revolution palettes, Makeup Revolution, Makeup Revolution has very, very beautiful, I mean, very, very beautiful palettes. They blend beautifully. Um, the shimmers, you got to work with your fingers, but that's okay. You know, if you don't have the paddle brush type of thing, it's fine. You can just use your finger. I love using my fingers for these shadows. I find they work better. So that is just a preference. These are the products that I would recommend to you guys that if someone asked me walking down the street and saying, hey, what should I get? I'm a beginner or I'm getting this for a friend. I would ask, what kind of colors do they like? What's your price range? What would you want? Do you want quality? Do you want pigmentation? Do you want her to be able to build it up? What do you want? That's what I would recommend to you guys. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like my janky ass watches. Like, I'm not used to this, obviously. But I hope you guys like this video. I am sorry this is a long one. I'm really, really sorry. I'll try to not do that or rant or whatever. But I hope you guys like these videos. And I, see, we'll, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh, and I'm going to start vlogging. And I'll try and do, like, every other day. Because I'm just so inspired by vlogs. It's not even funny. Um... So for my vlog, my first vlog is kind of boring. Let me know so I can go and actually do something because I'm just, I'm just not used to it. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.